there's something a little suspicious about it. Is it your hair? It's 2023, and we still have people shaming people for what they do with their hair. <gasps> your hair is so long. I was flabbergasted. Ha! Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Angel. You're welcome. Yes, I know I've not posted in a very long time. However, we are back. Okay, we are back this time around. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking down this hair. There's a scarf here for a reason. Anyway, while I'm teaching you how to take down your protective style properly, I'm also going to be talking about some toxic things that have been going on within the natural hair community and the relaxed hair community. So stay tuned if that's what you're, what you're interested in. So first is first, reveal. <laughs> okay, so this hair. I got this mud growth for what two weeks of um, using a particular DIY. You already know me, I'm the DIY queen, okay? Even though I've only been posting for a while. <laughs> so if you have not seen that video, check it out. It should be the video before this one, so check it out to see you know what I use and blah 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 and how it works. So I'm going to be taking this down, and what I'm going to be using is this is this is the remaining spray from the DIY I did the last time. Yeah, so. I'm also going to be using a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. I have a bunch of scrunchies here and some tools I'll be using. So first things first, I just want to clarify, everybody has their head of hair, right? So let people do whatever they want to do with their hair. And you as an individual, do whatever it is that you feel like is convenient for you, your lifestyle, your health, just do you. Do you get me? Just do you, okay? Now understand that the natural hair community or the natural hair, um, would I say campaign, has been going on for quite a while, now, a couple of years. And yeah, I understand. We're trying to like initiate people into it because it's like not as bad as we thought it was or we grew up thinking it was. So I understand that, right? But to be honest, there's still so many people out there that prefers to keep relaxed hair, which is fine. A lot of people cannot just bring themselves to take care of their hair some people genuinely do not have the time to take care of their hair some people just don't have the energy they don't even have the patience they don't have the energy so they're like okay you know what let me just relax my hair right and th that works for me do you get me okay before i ramble again i just want to say i did a massive um trim i was so scissors happy because i noticed that my hair was very damaged and for a while and i did not do anything about it i was just pushing my trim and eventually my hair, you know, the split ends started going up and the ends started becoming very very thin So I was blow drying my hair to make the style and I just I was just cutting. Okay, so I did not do a before and after I started this challenge one week after I installed this hairstyle and you, can, you could see how You know how much growth I got from just from a whole one week and then when I did the five days updates You could you can see the amount of hair that I grew. Okay, so yeah, tell me why We've established this fact, yeah? But we have a lot of people out here shaming people for what they do with their hair. It's 2023, and we still have people shaming people for what they do with their hair. Well, I was natural for a while before, before I turned natural this time around, and I relaxed my hair because I couldn't take care of it. I did not have the knowledge to take care of my hair. So one particular day, I was trying to detangle my hair, and I couldn't, I just went to get a relaxer, and I relaxed my hair, right? The relaxer damaged my hair, and eventually, I learned that okay there are ways to actually grow your hair and your hair can be soft and everything so i decided to you know take care of my hair one other reason why it's turned natural is because i saw a lot of articles concerning relaxed hair and you know talking about you know chemicals and stuff and how you know relaxers are linked to <clears throat> to a lot of terminal illnesses and stuff like that so that's kind of scary for me but you don't see me going to someone that relaxes their hair and be like you also die you <laughs> do that so why do we have people that are, are, na are natural that decided to relax their hair and we have naturals like attacking them why why are you attacking them allow people to do what they want to do and the worst one are those naturals that decide that okay they want to turn you know relax and then they start hitting on natural hair funny enough these people are people that like would literally try to convince everybody to you know go natural they are all in about natural hair now. They are telling us that, oh, since I was natural, I was never happy. Ha! Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, taking down Didi is so annoying. It literally took me so long to get just this one hair. And 
I'm tired. <laughs> But we'll keep going. I might do this again, but this time around I won't add extensions so I can actually use my wig and I might leave it for longer. This hair is about um what three weeks, right? Three weeks, yes. But I did that little hair growth challenge for a week, for two weeks. Anyway, so as I was saying guys, I think it's very strange that you would relax your hair, especially those natural hair like enthusiasts enthusiastics and choose and to you know what i'm talking about ah, god i have a master's degree anyway those guys i feel like it's completely fine do you get like it's fine if you want to relax your hair like it's okay do it but why are you going up and down and you're not trying to discourage people and trying to get other people to relax their hair is it your hair uh-uh I don't understand you people. This thing is taking so much time. Oh, me, I'm tired. But anyway, as I was saying, I've seen a lot of people um, that I've literally walked up to. Someone, somebody has ever walked up to me and be like, oh, I hate natural hair. Ah, <laughs> hey, Jesus. I was like, I was flabbergasted. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't like a random person on the street. It's somebody I know. But it's like, if you want to be relaxed, be relaxed. Face your front. Because it's kind of it's kind of salty and it's like why are you obsessed about my hair if you if you hate it so much and you love yours so much? There's something a little suspicious about it, you know? I get that a lot of people don't like natural hair because of how much time it takes to detangle. But that's why I say it's it's your hair. You have to learn it. You have to know how you no know, hacks about it is your hair. It's literally on your head. You have to learn how to, you know, deal with it. And natural hair can never be relaxed. Hair. Relaxed hair can never be natural hair. Like, it's not possible. Do you get me? Like, there's some styles and stuff that you can do in natural hair that looks so pretty, but you can't do it on relaxed hair. But does that mean natural hair is inferior to relaxed hair or relaxed hair is inferior to natural hair? No, it does not. Stick to what you want to do. Do you get me? Stick to whatever it is that you want to do. And for someone like me, I really don't spend so much time detangling my hair because I have learned that if I, if I keep my hair stretched, which is either putting it in a bun, you know, or just keeping it stretched, uh, maybe just braiding it, doing like bantu knots or something, I do not spend so much time detangling my hair. The only time that I get to like spend lots of time or hours detangling my hair is if I leave my hair, maybe if I wash my hair, my hair is like really shrunken and I leave it like that. I know, I know for a fact that I'm going to, you know, have a lot of time. See, at the end of the day, people even say that natural hair is, you know, hard to maintain and all of that. I feel like relaxer is even harder because you've broken, you've literally destroyed, used chemicals to destroy a lot of, you know, things on the strands of the hair. So you need to put in extra effort to make sure you maintain the hair. That's why we have a lot of Nigerians that are relaxed and their hair does not pass maybe their neck. <clears throat> and if you exceed their neck, you'll be like, <gasps> Your hair is so long. It can be longer than that. I mean, we've seen a lot of people grow very, very long, relaxed hair, very healthy, long, relaxed hair. And it's just extra effort. And you are still not who willing to even put the effort in your natural hair. You're not willing to put it in your relaxed hair, but you have mouth. You should have mouth on everybody. My goodness. I think we should be respectful of other people's hair. And if it's not your business, like, mind your business. It's okay if we're, like, you know, talking about it, trying to educate each other. You know, if maybe if someone you know someone that has like really damaged natural hair, they can't take care of it. And trying to advise them like, yo, I think relaxing your hair is the best option for you. That's fine, or you know, vice versa. But the one that you come, some of you go as far as making somebody feel really stupid for having the kind of hair that they have. I'm not joking, like, and it's insane. I know someone here on the YouTube space. I remember when um, she said, I'm not going to mention her name because I don't like trouble. But she said um, she normally leaves her hair two years. She, will, um, you know, take it natural two years for two years. Then she relaxes for two years, then cut it, then go back natural for two years and stuff like that. She said that that has been her routine for a very long time. I like that's fine. But she was like, okay, that was when the natural hair movement started. That was like almost two years ago. But she was like, I'm not doing because of that natural hair nonsense. Eh? Hey, it's not that serious though. Like it's literally not that serious. And now we have her here, like creating natural hair content. Like, don't insult something because you don't understand it. Natural. Don't go around insulting someone that relaxes their hair, that chose to relax their hair because they feel like that's the best option for them. Like, you don't know people's lifestyle. You don't know what people are, you know, 
how people are coping with their hair like just allow people to do their thing like a lot of people do not value hair as much as a lot of us do and like that's fine do you get like that's completely fine just don't go around making people feel stupid hello this is you can't you pick your sound my hair is literally so filthy but it is not itchy at all and i struggle with itchy scalp like massive itchy scalp i, I can be coming out of the shower and my hair, my scalp is already itchy so i'm kind of shocked that i don't my hair is not you know itchy i love that for me whatever people decide to make do with their hair is not your business don't make it your business do you get me allow people to do their thing like i said it's it's a different case if you're trying to like advise them on what uh, what you feel like could be best for them but aside from that like shut up trick it like just shut up and naturals leave people that want to relax their hair hello no my goodness i saw one girl she creates um, natural hair content also like every now and then she does mostly um, lifestyle videos so she relaxed her hair because she said it was not convenient for her she cannot keep up with her hair right and in the comment section you will see a lot of naturals going oh i bet you are going to regret this oh i give her six months she's going to come back to this come on <laughs> i don't know you people don't have problems in your house if i can't another person's problem on your head like it's not necessary do you get Tell me, is this normal for three weeks? Tell me in the comment section so I, I can either panic or just calm down, okay?